Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at Series 7 Minis by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2022. This assortment has a lot of cool new trucks and I can't wait to unbox them. So we're going to get right into it by unboxing each one. I do not have the packaging so I can't tell you for certain at this point which ones are rare or not. But I'm going to guess by the actual releases if they're rare or if they're not rare. So... Bear with me as we go through these like last time. Here we go though with Series 7. The first one up on the review list is number 848. So that last three digit code right there is what this truck is in every single package. So here we go. By the way, here's the assortment on both sides. I'm not gonna read them off because we're gonna see each one right now. So let's unbox the first one, number 848. And number 848 is a common truck. It is Earthshaker with a light brown chassis, yellow tires, and the classic Earthshaker body. We will have a turntable at the end of the video to show you them in good detail. So the first one up is 848 Earthshaker. The next one up is number 847 right there. And let's see what that is. And 847 is, ooh, this is a nice one. I did not expect this. It is a chrome blue blue thunder so this now is a little controversial since last time we had an el toro loco that was supposed to be chrome red i guess they just didn't perfect the chrome before they released it because they did release chrome trucks anyway and this is this is truly one of the best minis i've ever seen it is so shiny i love this chrome blue thunder so this is one of the rare trucks um as you can see the first ever chrome release of a mini in the mini scale. So this is what El Troloco should have been in red. And again, I'm going to assume they didn't have it perfected by the time they released these. So there is the first Chrome truck ever, the Blue Thunder, unexpected. I had no idea this was gonna happen. Right there, Chrome Blue Thunder with the Chrome wrapped body, white chassis and dark navy blue tires. This thing is beautiful, I can't stop looking at it. But there it is, Blue Thunder, the first rare truck of the assortment, the Chrome Blue Thunder, right there. And next up is the number 849 let's see what this one is and it is a common truck the next release of a black ultra local we have seen this before this time a new variation with a silver chassis and black tires and that same ultra local black body with the red horn so nothing too exciting a common truck of the assortment right there and here is 851 let's see what it is and that is the all-star challenge grave digger fire this thing is awesome i'm going to say this a lot in this video these are some of my favorite minis they've ever released and this is definitely one of them because i love the all-star challenge gravedigger ice and fire and to have a fire mini of gravedigger is just so cool and it has the black chassis red tires and those awesome gravedigger fire graphics we'll take a good look at them on the turntable but there it is the gravedigger fire a common truck not a rare one but there it is nonetheless and 852 this truck is the second next release of a Grave Digger, another, I'm assuming, rare truck. Grave Digger 30th Anniversary Green is now getting a release in Spin Master Moss Jam. We have already seen the Purple Grave Digger 30th Anniversary release previously a few series ago, actually last year in the debut year of minis. And this time we have the green edition of the truck. Last time it was a rare truck, so again, I'm assuming that this is another rare release. And you can see they have the perfect colored green body for this. It has purple tires and the green chassis with all of the 30th anniversary graphics on this truck. So hopefully we'll see this in 164 scale. I know people are dying to get it in 164 scale. We've already seen it in 124 scale as well. But there is the rare mini Grave Digger 30th anniversary green paint scheme. My favorite of the 30th anniversary fleet. So there it is, side by side with its brother truck, the Grave Digger Fire. And number 850, let's check it out. And that is another rare truck. This is the official chase piece of the series. It is Monster Mutt Dalmatian Gold. I believe we've seen a silver Monster Mutt as a chase piece in the past, but this time it is Monster Mutt Dalmatian as a gold chase piece with the black spots, black ears, black tail, and black details for this release. So there it is, gold on gold. It looks so awesome. And there is Monster Mutt Dalmatian, the third rare truck of the releases in this assortment and the official chase piece of Series 7. So there it is, Monster Mutt Dalmatian Gold. And next up is number 853. Will we get lucky and get the fourth and final rare truck? I don't know. Let's check it out. 
And it is not a rare truck, but it's an awesome release nonetheless because it is the release debut of Max D Yellow, one of the classic Max D colorful bodies that they had in the past. And here it is with that black stripe down the top, yellow Max D logo, yellow Max D face, and of course the yellow Max D body with a black chassis and bright yellow tires. This is a cool release. And I think that almost makes all of the Max D color releases so far. So we have the entire fleet, I believe, since we have the Chase piece Max D gold. So there it is, Max D yellow, joining the other three trucks from the classic color quartet right there in this release. So there it is, Max D yellow, getting a debut release in Spin Master Monster Jam Mini. And next up is number 857, and it is the Zombie. So Zombie's making a return. Nothing crazy cool about this one. It does have that nice, almost looks like, not to be gruesome, dried blood or maroon chassis, whatever you prefer to call it. I think they're going off the dry blood factor because of Zombie and the actual idea of a gruesome zombie. But there it is with black tires and that classic zombie body. So there it is, really cool truck for Series 7, and I think in Series 6, we actually saw Zombie Fire, so another zombie release right there. Maybe one day, and hopefully we do see this, we'll see the Encore Zombies in mini scale, but for now, there's another regular zombie for the release of minis. And now we have number 854, let's check it out. And it is the release debut of Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, a very highly requested truck by the community, now getting a release in Series 7, the first time ever with that little mini Mohawk, super cute, and the graphics on the side, Great Clips there, and Great Clips on the hood, very awesome, and I just love this truck, with the perfectly colored black tires and gray chassis to make this truck absolutely awesome looking. There it is, the debut of the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior tooling in Spin Master Minis. And next up is number 846. Let's unbox it, or I should say unpackage it. And it is, if it'll come out of the package, it is the Calavera getting another minis release. This is the second time we're seeing Calavera with magenta tires, a black chassis, and the Calavera body. So there is Calavera, another release for it in mini scale right there for series seven. And the final two here, let's see what we got. We have number 855. And that is the Son of a Digger. Now, Son of a Digger has its roof printing again and hood printing. I'm not sure why the last couple releases have not had this, especially the gold chase piece, but they brought it back for this release of the mini scale right there. It also has the full grill print and headlights, and you can see it has a dark purple chassis, almost indigo color chassis, and dark blue tires. So Son of a Digger now has the roof and hood printing returning to the mini scale right there for mini series seven. And the final truck should be the last chase piece, and it should be this Soldier Fortune Black Ops. I'm not sure what makes it a chase piece, but let's check it out. Number 856. So here we go. The final chase piece or rare truck of the assortment, Soldier Fortune Black Ops. I did not unbox that right. Um, I might have to cut this open. I'll be right back. Okay. I had to pull the package open. Here is the apparent chase piece, I'm assuming, or unless one of these are the other chase piece. It is, ooh, it is an X-Ray Soldier Fortune Black Ops. I was not expecting that. That looks so awesome. Hopefully the camera's capturing it right. It's completely clear, tinted black plastic. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Like I was with Blue Thunder, I had no idea what this was gonna be because the renders don't show this on there. So you can see it has clear black tires, a gray chassis, and that clear tinted body. That is one of the best X-ray trucks they've ever done. I love this thing. So there it is, Soldier Fortune Black Ops in sheer madness or x-ray form as the final and fourth chase piece of the assortment or rare truck as we call them. So there it is, the last truck. Let's get to the turntable and look at these individually because there's so many awesome trucks, especially this Chrome Blue Thunder. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are with the turntable view. This is number 846, a common truck of the assortment. Calavera returning to the mini series, this time with magenta tires and a black chassis. So number 846 is the Calavera. And one of the four rare trucks, it is the Chrome Blue Thunder coming in at number 847 as the mini code. So this should be one per case, the brand new and first release of a Chrome Mini, it is the Blue Thunder. And another common truck, it is number 848, the Earthshaker, this time with a brown chassis and bright yellow tires, returning for this series again, Earthshaker, number 848. And number 849 is the return of Black El Toro Loco, this time with a silver chassis and black tires, a truck we've seen in the past and now returning as a common truck, the Black El Toro Loco at number 849. And number 850 is the rare chase piece, 
Gold Monster Mutt Dalmatian, the official designated chase piece of Series 7 Minis. Monster Mutt Dalmatian in the gold format. Here it is for number 850, one of the rare trucks. And number 851 is the Monster Jam All-Star Challenge Grave Digger Fire getting a mini release. We have seen a few Fire and Ice trucks get mini releases recently. They are not rare trucks, they are commons, but nonetheless, they are awesome to see yet again. So number 851 is Grave Digger Fire. And number 852, another Grave Digger. This is the 30th anniversary green body for one of the rare trucks, so it is one of the Chase Piece trucks with the green chassis and purple tires. We have seen the purple 30th anniversary Grave Digger get a release in minis recently, and now we have the green one. So here it is at number 852, one of the four rare trucks. And the return of Yellow Max D as number 853, one of the common trucks. It has a black chassis and yellow tires to match the body. Super cool to see the colorful Max D's return in mini scale. And here it is as number 853, the Yellow Max D. And a brand new casting debut in minis, highly requested, the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior at number 854. One of the common trucks, but so cool to finally see in mini scale. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, number 854. And Son of a Digger returns to the mini scale as number 855, one of the common trucks, this time with a pearlescent purple chassis, or I should actually say indigo chassis, and dark blue tires. Son of a Digger is one of the common trucks, number 855. And the final rare truck, as well as one of the coolest X-Ray style trucks from the mini series yet, Soldier Fortune Black Ops X-Ray, one of the rare four trucks as number 856. This thing is just so sick, so I'm glad we got a release of this. And here it is again as number 856, one of the four and final rare trucks of this video. And your final new mini for Series 7 is Zombie, another common truck, one we've seen many times before as number 857, this time with a dried blood color, chassis, and black tires. So there is Zombie as number 857, and that will conclude this review of Series 7 Spin Master Monster Gym Minis. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next video, this is Ryan our Monster Mo CD, signing out.